what is up guys the muck designs here and uh, I'm coming to you guys with a pen tool tutorial in Photoshop and you can do this in uh, Illustrator or Photoshop doesn't matter which one it's pretty much the same thing but uh, yeah I'm gonna do it in Photoshop today so uh, what you wanna do is file new and for the best settings I usually do 1600 by 900 my resolution is 100 and my color mode is 16 bit and I'm gonna name this uh, pen tool tut and I'm gonna go okay so now that you have this open it's gonna be a white screen and um, basically what you wanna do is go to this right here and click just click it it makes a new layer and uh, go to your uh, pen tool tool on the side which is this it's like a calligraphy pen or right above the the text and make sure you have black selected or whichever color you want and um, make sure it's on path up here um, for this uh, specific tutorial and uh, what you want to do is uh, basically just click down and you'll see a dot that comes up um, now click somewhere else in the screen uh, example here and keep, hol keep holding down don't let go of the click and you can just drag it you can drag it around just like that and make curves with it you just go in and like it depends where you want your mouse to go it depends how if how far it goes out is how um, how angled the curve will be how like close you are to the point is how small the curve, curve would be so uh, yeah I'm just gonna make it like that and uh, see if I do this if I click here again it automatically makes this curve because of this line that's sticking out so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna step backward I'm going to hold the alt key and just click that right there so once you've done that you can go to another spot um, on the on the page and click it and hold it and just drag it and as you can see there's no there is no um, bend or uh, curve in it it's just a it's just like a triangle basically so now that I have this I can uh, do the same thing and just go back to the original spot once you do the original spot you realize that the dots will go away and it'll become um, it'll just become uh, an outlined uh, shape once you have this outline shape make sure you're in layer one you could either right click fill path and this will come up um, you can choose the color you can either choose black gray white or you can come up here to color and choose your own specific color you want but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go black and I'm gonna click OK so now you have the shape and uh, as you can see that the the line is still around it the um, the pen tool mark is still around it and if you do not want that there you just click delete and it will delete the mark so now there is no mark and uh... yeah basically you can just you can just make countless um, shapes with it you can use it for illustrating you can use it for um, for whatever you want logo design um, yeah basically anything and yeah you can keep doing it make some really cool patterns and uh... You can even duplicate it and uh, we transform it make, make some make some cool things with it and uh, yeah so uh, delete that and uh, the second portion of this tutorial is going to teach you how to um, how to make a AI file that's pretty accurate and um, yeah pretty pretty good in general so I'm just going to delete this and I'm gonna open a logo that I want to um, I want to pen tool I have a, a HD pack right here that I'm gonna select let's go uh, let's go with the SB logo yeah that looks pretty good so okay so I have this logo here and I wanna make an AI for it and uh, as you as some of you guys know that sometimes these curves and um, 
these uh, these straight lines aren't accurate and they're kind of diagonal and they just look all sloppy. So what I what I usually do is take this take uh, I go to view and go to rulers and once you have these rulers just drag them down and uh, drag them to the lines you want like that you're gonna potentially pen tool and it's really simple just keep going and it doesn't ha it, it try to make it dead on but it doesn't have to be but for the more accurate pen tool I would suggest you want that kind of near where the shape ends and begins so yeah I'm just gonna oops I'm gonna keep doing oops, I'm just gonna keep doing this real quick and yeah so that, that's fine I guess it's not really not really on all the spots but this is just an example so um, now what I want to do is find a spot that I'm going to start at um, I can start at any spot on this but I usually like to start towards the left because I usually go left to right and it's I think a lot easier for me so uh, let's start right here yeah that's pretty good. actually try and start in the furthest most point right there and just basically you just gotta follow the line and since these rulers are here as long as I the rulers are here and I click somewhere near it it'll automatically magnetize towards the ruler and keep it in a perfectly straight line and uh... yeah I'm gonna go down and just keep doing this and down here I keep this Oops. Try to keep this straight right here Right here, right here, right here, and here we come to um, an edge. And this edge, what you want to do is, when you reach an edge like this, try and get it right here, and just just try and get it dead on like that, for example. And that looks good. And just scroll all the way down. Go right here, and this edge again try and get this edge dead on I know this is not perfect right now but um, yeah I'm just giving an example and so just keep doing it like this oh, you see that was not oh this is not going to be straight one second that ruler there there you go and yeah I'm almost done with this And okay, so now I've pen tooled my entire logo. I have I've made sure there's no more points left. There's only there's only the outline of the logo itself right there. So as you can see, it's pretty it's pretty accurate it looks just like the um, the original 2d logo and what I want to do now is file export path to illustrator make sure it's on work path click OK and as you get to here uh, click desktop or whatever folder you want and uh, name it whatever you want and just click save what this does it makes it into a .ai file which you can later on put into Adobe Illustrator or in fact Sima 40, which I'll show you right now. So I'm going to open Cinema 4D. I'm going to wait this load. Alright, so now that Cinema 40 is open, what you want to do is um, file. Actually, if you have a Lightroom, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open my Lightroom. And. Uh, Right here. Let's delete these. Oh, whoops. Just delete these. Alright, so you have your Lightroom. All you have to do is file, merge, 
and find the logo on your desktop in which you put. So I'm just gonna pen tool tut AI and make sure the scale is one and uh, it's on connects um, spl spleens and it's on centimeters and click OK. As you do that, the logo will come up and yeah, so it's pretty accurate. It looks mostly like the 2D one, almost exactly. But uh, yeah, guys, that's uh, that's how you get a um, pen tool pretty well, and uh, how you get um, how to make an AI. So uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, could this please hit um, around 30 likes or 40? If you guys are, if you guys want another tutorial, um, please uh, please leave your um, tutorial suggestions in the comments below, and I will definitely check them out. And uh, yeah, guys, so thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, yeah, thanks, guys.